Your garden crops wouldn't stand a chance of developing fruit or seeds without the help of insects like honeybees, bumblebees, butterflies, moths, and these solitary bees. These pollinators do the important job of transferring pollen from one flower to another, which fertilizes them so they can grow properly and produce food. Without them, there'd be no tomatoes, cucumbers, strawberries, and just about everything else that tastes good coming out of your garden. That's a good idea to keep in mind when trying to control other pests in the garden, which aren't quite so beneficial. If you want to attract pollinators in your garden, you're gonna have extra insects around. So that means if you have a pest problem, you really want to rethink if you're going to do any management or not. If you do need to manage a pest, there's a few things you should consider. One would be try to use a biological control agent. Biological control agents very specific for the pests that you want to control. The other thing that you can do if you need to use an insecticide is to find something that's very specific for the pests that you want to control. Sometimes you can use a systemic product that will just kill the animal feeding on the plant. But if you do spray, try to do it at times when the pollinators are not present and something that does not leave a residual on the plant for a long time. There's a lot of ways to control insects, even without insecticides, including hand picking. Out at the backyard farmer garden, we constructed a bee box to give the solitary bees a home. You can make one for yourself at home out of untreated pine or fir. Your block of wood should be at least six inches deep. Drill holes of various diameters from three eighths of an inch to a quarter inch and try to drill them three quarters of an inch apart. When you drill, try to keep the depth of the hole three to five inches deep. Don't drill all the way through. You can drill as many holes as your block will accommodate. When you've prepared your block, mount it at least three feet above the ground at a location with plenty of access to your flower blossoms you want pollinated. These solitary bees like to be close to the food source. You can mount it on a shed close to the garden or on a fence post. Adding a small roof on top can help keep the bee burrows dry.